Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we shall consider a numerical on half wave rectifier. So, without wasting much time, let's get into the task straight away. Yes, this is the numerical. It says the input voltage to a half wave rectifier is V is equal to 200 sin 50 T. If RL, that is the load resistance, is equal to 1 kilo ohm, and RF, that is the forward resistance, is 50 ohm, find the followings. So the task is to find 1. The DC current through the diode, that is IDC. Second one, the AC or RMS value of the current, that is IRMS. Third, the DC output voltage, which is VDC. Fourth, the AC power input, PIAC, I, I'll call it. Last one is the rectifier efficiency, which is eta. So now let us consider the solution straight away for this numerical. So let me first write the given uh, parameters. So what are all being given? So in this numerical, V is equal to 200 sine 50 T. So this has been given. So I can compare this with the input voltage VI. VI is equal to VM sine omega T. So if I do that, I am going to get the value of VM. What is VM? That is the peak voltage. VM is equal to 200 volt. So just by the comparison, I get this. So it is also being given the load resistor RL. The load resistor RL is equal to, it is being given as 1 kilo ohm and it is also being given the forward, diode forward resistance RF is equal to 50 ohm. Let me write this. So as the value of 50 ohm is quite less compared to RL, I can also neglect the value of forward resistance RF. Yes. So now let me consider point number one that needs to be found which is in this case it is the DC current through the diode. DC current through the diode is nothing but IDC. The task is to find the value of IDC. So how do I find? To find IDC of a half wave rectifier we have got the straight formula. IDC is equal to I am divided by pi. So this is the formula to find IDC. I just have to substitute the values. What is IM? I, I do not know IM straight away but I can express IM in terms of VM because I know the value of VM. So what is I? I is equal to V divided by R which V it is now? In this case it is VM. R is RL. I can write RF plus RL or I can write RL only because I said RF is 50 ohm. It is only 50 ohm. It is quite negligible. So I can exclude that. I can neglect that into pi. So let's substitute the value. What is VM? VM is 200 volt. So let, let me put the value of VM divided by RL into pi. So what is the value of RL? RL is 1 kilo ohm. RL is 1 kilo ohm that gets multiplied with pi. What is pi? Pi is 3.142. So this is the value of pi. Pi is 22 by 7 and it has the value of 3.142. So if I simplify this, I am going to get the value of IDC, the current the value of current, if I use the calculator and solve it, I am going to get the value of IDC as 63.65 milliamp. So this is the value of IDC. This is the first parameter that needs to be found. So here I have got the value of IDC. So now we'll move on. And the next task is to solve for AC or RMS value of the current. So that we'll consider. So let me call this as the second parameter. I would call this as IRMS. IRMS. The way we had the straight formula for IDC, we also have the formula for IRMS of a half wave rectifier. IRMS is equal to IM divided by 2. So this is the straight formula we have to find the value of IRMS. So what do I get now? Let me uh, put the values of uh, different parameters. IM. So I do not know the value straight away. So what I do is 
I'll express it in terms of uh, Vm. Im is equal to Vm divided by Rl into 2. So just put the values. What is Vm? Vm is 200. Uh, divide this by RL is 1 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm is nothing but 1000 1000 ohm into 2 so simplify this so if I do that I'm going to get the value of IRMS so IRMS turns out to be 0.1 ampere so this is the second parameter that we found IRMS so moving on further the third parameter what is the third parameter third parameter is the DC output voltage so let me call it as VDC so this is the third parameter that we need to find uh, that we need to find which is DC output voltage I call it as VDC so we have the straight formula for VDC as VM divided by pi so what is VM VM is 200 volt divided by pi so substitute the values so what I'm going to get I'm going to get the value of VDC as 63.653 volt so this is the third parameter that is VDC so here we have found the value of VDC similarly moving on further let me consider the fourth parameter fourth parameter is the AC power input so let me write the fourth parameter AC power input that is I call it as PIAC P is the power I is the input AC is nothing but AC input power which is equal to the formula is VRMS into IRMS the formula for power is P is equal to V into I as it is as we are f uh, finding AC input power it must be related with RMS values of voltages and the currents so what is the value of VRMS so here I have got in the third in the second parameter I have got IRMS IRMS as 0.1 ampere I can find from that as VRMS so what is VRMS VRMS is equal to V is equal to I R V is equal to I R I is I R M S R is load resistance R L so what is I R M S I R M S we got it as 0.1 amp so let me write this 0.1 into R L R L is 1000 so what I'm going to get the value of V R M S we'll get the value of V R M S as 100 volt so this is VRMS so let me put this value here in the expression of PIAC so this is PIAC here VRMS is 100 that gets multiplied with IRMS what is the value of IRMS I found that in the second parameter IRMS as 0.1 amp so let me put the value of 0.1 amp so that I would get the AC input power as 10 the unit of power is watt so let me write this as 10 watt so this is the fourth parameter we found moving on further we have to find the last parameter which is rectifier efficiency so let me find the last parameter rectifier efficiency which I call it as eta eta is equal to it is the output power P naught DC divided by the input power which is PIAC so I just have to put these values PIAC I just found it as 10 watt I also need to find P naught DC so how do I find uh, P naught DC so let me also find P naught DC which is equal to V into I so as I'm finding with respect to the output it is VDC into I D C so just put the values of VDC VDC we got it as 63.65 so let me put those values 63.65 and what is the value of IDC IDC is also 63.65 milliamp so if I simplify that I'm going to get P naught DC as 4.05 watt so this is P naught 
dc so let let me put those values in this expression of efficiency p not dc i just got it as 4.05 watt that gets divided by its uh, piac that is input ac input power which i got it as 10 watt so if i do that if i do the calculation 4.05 divided by 10 i'm going to get this as 0. 405 is the efficiency so if i find it in in terms of percentage percentage efficiency is equal to 40.5 40.5 percent so i'll just multiply this with 100 so that i would get it in terms of percentage so this is rectifier efficiency halfway rectifier efficiency is 40.5 we also know that theoretically the efficiency of halfway rectifier is 40.5 so hence i got this also to be of the same value which is 40.5 so in this numerical we have considered in this video we have considered a numerical on halfway rectifier and we found the various parameters of the halfway rectifier like idc irms vdc PIAC and rectifier efficiency. I have explained this numerical step by step. I hope you people have understood. If there are still any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I am happy to answer those doubts. Thank you so much for watching.